Do you think this is it, the peak of interest rates of the Fed? Is that the view for you and the team? Well, uh, is it the peak? Uh, I think that uh, the data's been coming in a bit stronger. Um, and if anything, even some of the more dovish members of the committee have sounded a bit hawkish. So, so we could get an additional hike or two uh, in this uh, cycle. I think it's a closer call than I would have thought several months ago. I will say, I still think that the reasoning that the chair put forward, which is that we've had this dislocation in banking, two of the biggest bank failures in US history. Uh, you know, right now, markets have sort of moved on to the next thing. But some of those challenges uh, remain. And so I think that's going to come back into the discussion at some point as well. There were some thoughts about rate cuts. We priced them in. Yeah. We priced them out. Just how high is the bar for yeah. rate cuts? John, I think the bar for rate cuts the rest of this calendar year is, is very high, uh, not only on economic grounds, but the communication has been very consistent from the yeah. most dovish to the most hawkish member. Every member of that committee has said, look, we're not going to do the heavy lifting to get rates in restrictive territory and then start to cut them. So I think the bar to cutting this year is, is very high. Uh, because remember, the Fed has penciled into its projections a pretty sharp slowdown of the labor market. They have the unemployment rate going up to 4.5% by the end of the year without any cuts. So I do think if there are cuts, it's really a 2024 story. But yeah, I think the bar is high. 